Procrastination. This is something that we have all been terrified of for so long. Ask yourself, how many times have you been procrastinating in this past week? How many times have you started doing something else because you didn't want to do the thing that's on your mind? How many times have you delayed something because of how you felt? Don't worry, it's not just you. It's me as well, it's everyone. Everyone procrastinates. It is such a big problem. So how can we stop? You decide. Ultimately, when it comes down to it, you are the only person who can make a change, who can make a difference, who can make things worse for yourself. First things first, how are you? I hope things have been good and I hope you've been alright. I read a book recently. It's a book called Make Shit Happen by Sean Wallen. And it basically goes over the four core principles to actually getting things done and things that are halting your progress. And by after listening to this, and the last one's the most important, you might have a fresh perspective and you might learn something different. The core four principles is power, passion, production, and purpose. Now I'm gonna start with the first one, power. This is known as your body. Your body is a direct representation of your mind. Having a healthy, fit body is a necessary. It's an important aspect of your life. And it's something that might be dawning on your mind. The body that you have right now, it's the body that's going to hug your future kids or maybe hug your kids. It's the body that takes you to work or takes you to school. It's the part of your life that gets intimate with your partner, with your significant other. By working hard on this aspect and this part in your life, it gives you a sense of luxury to appreciate everything that you've done, to be proud of how you look. You see, I have a friend who is overweight and he had the mindset, well, never really, but he, at one point, he would listen to other people who were overweight saying that they're proud to be overweight. But when he actually started talking about it and losing weight, he started looking at around and everyone, he started saying, I'm not proud to be overweight. Everyone's going around saying that, you know, I'm super proud to be overweight, but I'm super sad. If my body is the direct representation of my mind, that's true. Because I'm not happy with how I look and I feel terrible. And he has made so much progress. He started going to the gym and he has genuinely made insane amount of progress. And I'm so proud of him. So how can you actually get into shape? First things first, exercise. Go to the gym. Having a designated place to do exercise gives you a sense of routine and actually makes you stick to that routine. And pay attention to what you eat. If you're eating so much, so much junk food and you're not getting enough exercise, then that's not going to help you. Where is all that energy, all that weight gonna go? And more importantly, how does it make you feel? If you've spent a whole day eating junk food and not a single moment of that day exercising, how do you think you'll feel? Do you think you'll feel good? Or will you feel more like my friend who said that he didn't feel good when he did this? Best thing that you can do for healthy food is just to stop eating processed stuff. Try cut down on the snacks you eat and try and have a balanced diet. Get a good amount of protein into your system and make sure you're not eating super processed like manufactured shit. So mainly snacks. And one of the best things that's helped me stay consistent at the gym and start losing a lot of weight and putting on more muscle is a gym buddy. Find someone you can commit with. They help you stay on this path and you help them. And it genuinely just makes the gym so much more interesting. You're less nervous when you first go into the gym since you're going with somebody. And not only that, it becomes such a more enjoyable experience. And if it's more enjoyable, you're way more likely to stick to it. The second one, passion. Passion is known as relationships. Nothing kills growth, momentum, and your passion more than being in a bad relationship. When you're harboring emotions such as sadness, resentment, anger, stress, there are some things you can learn to do that can actually help you, especially with your reaction to sort of stressful situations. Think about the negative words that you use in a response to a certain stressful situation. Think about how you can change your reaction to a more positive reaction. Look around and see what things you can be appreciative of what things you can be grateful for. And if you are in a relationship that is so unbelievably stressful and it's not going well, it's an unhealthy relationship. It will halt progress. It will make you want to procrastinate. It will stop growth and momentum. One thing that has really helped me 
especially during the relationships that I have had, especially with arguments. This is something I learned from the book Eight Rules of Love from Jay Shetty, and that is win or lose together. Every time you have an argument, people develop this sort of mindset that it's me against you. I have to win or you have to lose. A win-lose situation, but in reality, it's more we're both arguing against a certain problem. It's both of us against a situation, a problem that we need to overcome. Because if we view it as a win-lose situation, me against you, if, even if I win and you lose, I still lose anyway, because you end up becoming more distant from each other. If you view it as it's you both against a problem, it changes the way you think. Then the third one, production. This is known as business. Money is a very important part of this world. It basically makes the world run. Money is very important. And a lot of families neglect, a lot of people neglect their families for a certain type of job. And they lose quite a big part of themselves in doing so. That's why a lot of people don't enjoy nine to five jobs. A lot of people complain. A lot of people struggle. Most of my audience is young, so you have time. Spend at least 20 to 30 minutes a day just reading a bit more about business, a bit more about money, a bit more about the psychology behind business. There are lots and lots of books out there. There are so many business models out there. You don't even need to buy books, you can just read online. Spend some time, literally as little as 30 minutes a day, just researching, because it will benefit you in the long run in the future and for your own family. And it gives you something to do, so you're not always procrastinating. And the last one, purpose. Purpose is known as your mind. Your mind is a very, very important aspect of your life because it makes a lot of the decisions for your life. However, we cannot control the thoughts that come into our head. We cannot control them. However, we can control our reactions to them and we can control our actions despite of what we feel. By far, one of the best things that I've learned that's helped me to getting shit done, to stop procrastinating, and just to have a productive, good day. One of the best things that I've learned after being on self-improvement for over two years, start off your day training your mind to be more positive. Schedule your morning, things you're gonna do in the morning. What am I gonna get done today? What am I gonna read today? I wonder who the people I'm gonna meet today. Two amazing things that has helped me miraculously is meditation and gratitude journaling. I've mentioned this before in a couple of videos, but meditation is basically the art of being more prime, more prime, more mindful of the present moment. And gratitude journaling is basically writing down 10 things that you're grateful for. If you only do one of this, I recommend gratitude journaling because this has made the biggest amount of progress. Writing 10 things that you're grateful for every single morning. It trains your mind to be very positive because in ultimately when you try and do this, it's quite hard. It's quite hard to write down 10 things you're grateful for because you're looking for things that you have to have a positive mindset to, which a lot of us don't have nowadays. A lot of us have a negative set style of thinking. So this is by far one of the best things. Start your day training your mind to be more positive. When you wake up, open the window, sit down, have a coffee, play on that relaxing music, meditate, write down 10 things you're grateful for, plan your day out. I hope this video helped you out. And I hope you've been good. I hope things have been all right. And I'd be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's gonna pop up on the corner here, because this video could help you out as well. And subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, self-improvement kiss.